if you go to amazon you can buy any brand any product any variant everything is available in amazon the reason is what e retailing once the product is not good there is a refund option is there there is giving back option also there you can say that this product is not good please take it back this product that option also available you bought something from amazon the product is really good you trust amazon once you get a poor quality of product you will stop trusting amazon clear that is what called as customer trust hello everyone this is your other sir from vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence we are discussing e-commerce unit 2 it is a small topic and you will understand the many major important things like you will understand what is e retailing so we will understand what is e retailing what are the models of e retailing and explanation for e retailing now first we will understand what is e retailing the retailing means you will understand what is retailing yes subdividing subdividing in the sense for example if you want to buy some samsung phone for buying samsung phone is it necessary to go to samsung showroom earlier it was yes the answer was yes but now it is not required if you go to any mobile shop you will get samsung you will get oppo you will get iphone you will get some other kind of mobiles all the types of mobiles you will get in mobile shop in mobile shop you can find more than 10 types of 10 uh, branded mobiles and if you want to buy a watch if you go to watch shop you will get fast track you will get fossils you will get sonata and so many types of watches you will get in one shop why many types of watches are available in one shop it is nothing but e retailing clear so in a small town keeping the sonata showroom your another fossil showroom and keeping one more showroom like keeping the showroom for each brand it is very expensive instead of opening a showroom for each brand like in a street opening oppo showroom samsung showroom iphone showroom it is little expensive instead of that buy a shop in that you can get all kinds of product the customer will choose which is good for him in case of price in case of brand in case of the uh, benefits or features the customer can choose his choice now this is called e retailing if you go to amazon you can buy any brand any product any variant everything is available in amazon the reason is what e retailing now you will understand more clearly retail is a process of selling consumer goods or services to customer through multiple channels of distribution through amazon through flipkart through myntra mintra so these kind of many websites are there many shops are there if you want to buy samsung mobile means in mysore only you will find minimum more than 5000 shops you can buy mobile so in a street you will get 10 shops to buy samsung mobile that is called your consumer goods or services to customer through multiple channels of distribution if that samsung mobile is available in every road every shop the buyers will be more because the buyers will get a guarantee they will get a confidence that everywhere samsung mobiles are there everyone buying samsung mobile means this one is genuine one hope you are clear now assume that there is a samsung mobile manufacturer all over mysore there is only one shop for samsung in bangalore one shop darwar one shop mangalore one shop the people will not buy samsung because this mobile is easily not available Hope you are clear. I'll give you best example for that. Your One Plus One. This brand was introduced many years ago, but it was available only online. When it was available only online, the middle-aged people, around thirty-five to forty, older groups, old-age groups, 
they were not showing interest on one plus one. The reason is very simple. It is not available in the shop. It is available only online. The youngsters will be attracted by looking at the camera, the looking at the uh, GB, whatever they give, looking at the space, whatever uh, they have given, looking at the price, whatever they have quoted. But the middle age group will not trust online. They always go with offline. Once they started introducing OnePlus models in the shops, then people started buying more. That is called as e-retailing. The product is available. Uh, the manufacturer will manufacture more product. They will give 10 products to Mysore, 10 products to Bangalore, 10 to Darwa, 10 to Manglo. Like that, they will distribute so that it should be available every place, every corner. This is called your e-retailing. Now, so what are the features of e-retailing? The major features are it saves time and effort. As I told you, if there are only one Samsung showroom in the Mysore, if, if you are the opposite corner of a Mysore, you have to go till that shop to buy that Samsung. Instead of going till there, you can buy anywhere. Even because of e-commerce, you can buy through online. Convenience of shopping at home. As I told you, what is e-commerce? Selling at home, buying online. And wide variety and range of product. So in the Samsung only, we have almost 100 kinds of varieties. So it is a pro. They will add pro. And Samsung M50, M51, M25. These are the name of the product. So based on your budget, based on your requirement, you can choose the product. Good discount, lower price. Compared to your offline, always you remember, when you go to offline, the same product available for 30,000, but in the online, it is available for 26, 27. The reason is what? The offline, he has to pay the rent of that shop. He has to pay electricity bill. He has to pay uh, salary to the workers or boys. And he has to pay the property tax. He has to make all the expenses, transportation, everything. But online just website they no need to pay salary they no need to pay any rent they no need to pay electricity bill that is a reason online always the products are available at lesser price then get detailed information about the product if shop owner is busy our shop owner is not aware of that product if you go and ask them whether this mobile is good this watch is good he will not guide you that is the reason. If you go to online, you will get a video, you will get a review, you will get all the description when it is introduced, what model it is, what is the best price, what is the warranty for this, what is the definition of warranty. Each and everything, as I told you, all 360 degree of view you will get. Whether the, what are the variant, black, green, blue, the colors of that, the size of that, everything you will get to know in online easy comparison of various model and brand i'll give you best example you bought some mobile you want a back cover is it easy to get in the offline it is impossible there are lakhs together models are there in mobile if you go and ask any shop do i do i have the back cover with some design like what design you need some shahrukh khan you like shahrukh khan you need shahrukh khan background uh, back case. It is not available in offline because out of thousand shop if you search one or two shops you may get but in the online just type model of mobile I need Shahrukh Khan back screen your back uh, cover immediate within fraction of second you will get even though it is not there send Shahrukh Khan photo they will customize and give you the back cover that is the advantage of comparison of various models and brand. What are the benefits and advantages of e-retailing for the retailers? Like location utility, like as I told you, your area is in Siddhartha Nagar, there you will get Samsung shop. Your area is some Vijayanagar, you will get. Your area is Jalakshmi Puram, there you will have a shop. Your area is near Wandrikapal, you will have shop. Every corner, every area, you will have one shop if you go with e-retailing. Now, less expensive. 
So the transportation cost you have reduced. There is a lot of requirement of customers. Uh, customers are required means for that product. The cost obviously less. High reach, easily reachable. So you are residing in Jalakshi Puram. For you, it is just five minutes walk. You are residing in Siddhartha Nagar. That shop is very near. You are residing in Vijayanagar. You can go to Vijayanagar shop. So that it is very near. It is very simple bus stop. Like every area you have a bus stop. You no need to come to city bus stand by walk and then you take a bus. Not required. From Siddhartha layout only you can take bus. From Vijayanagar only you can take bus. From Kuvampunagar only you can take bus. That is called as e-retailing. It is available everywhere. 24 into 7 business. As I told you, midnight 2 o'clock also you can buy your product. You can see your product. You can order for your product. Then feedback. Once the product is not good, there is a refund option is there. There is giving back option also there. You can say that this product is not good. Please take it back this product. That option also available. So these are the major benefits of e-retailing. What are the disadvantages of e-retailing? Usually the everything is what? Advantages only. Still we have disadvantages. What? Website cost. We say that in Amazon, there is no electricity bill, there is no water bill, there is no rent, there is no salary. But behind Amazon, lakhs together, workers are there, employees are there, you have to pay them salary. Even though there is no electricity bill, but a website bill is there. They have linked with some financial transaction uh, from website. For that website, you have to pay. Back end, back end many people are working for that. If for example, if you see uh, mobile in the website means pictures, somebody has to click that picture, description, somebody has to type that and the content writing, somebody has to do that for everything they have to pay. The review column, somebody has to fill that. All these things, it will cost them. Then infrastructure cost, like Amazon also they have an office, like your product is not good, you have to go and complain, even though it is online. If they tell you to come and meet, then you have to go to their office, office will be there. So infrastructure, security and fraud. If somebody hacks the website, huge cost you have to incur. Legal issues, some legal disputes will be there. Like you have Amazon contracted with some shop owner. The shop owner is sending some, uh, it is not good product. Quality wise, it is very low. So that you have to answer to the customer, the legal customs, you have to follow that. You have to pay back the money, whatever you have collected from customer. All these possibilities are there. Advertising cost, like in Amazon also, you may see in Flipkart and all, you will get a million dollar, million year offer. These kind of offers, you have to keep posting in the outside roads. You have to keep posting in the website like Instagram, Facebook and all. For that, you have to pay. Customer trust. Holding the customer trust, it is not easy compared like what we think. Because you bought something from Amazon, the product is really good, you trust Amazon. Once you get a poor quality of product, you will stop trusting Amazon. Clear? That is what called as customer trust. E-retailing models. You have two models. One is inventory based model and marketplace based model. Inventory means always remember stock market based place model so it is that the products are available in all the marketed market all the areas so these are the compulsory question for your examination one is your traditional retailing and e-retailing as i told you traditional there is no net internet there is no computer there is no system there is no network only everything offline you have to walk to that shop you have to choose the product and get. Varieties are very less. You have to, the transportation cost will be there and timings are very restricted. Whenever shop is open, you have to go. There is no variety, no choosing, nothing. You can feel the product, but options are very less. Physical presence. Traditional, yes, there is physical presence, but can be done entirely online. Overhead cost involves high overhead in the traditional, comparatively less. Customer experience, more personal and interactive, provides convenience, 
like uh, comparatively to offline the interactions are less product range limited space but unlimited in the amazon to see all the product you need minimum one week to just check how many products are there minimum you need one week to check all the product now geographical reach it is limited it is available only in few shops so it allows business to reach a global customer anywhere if you go just sit if you have internet go and book Hope you are clear. These are the difference between traditional and e-retailing. So the next topic will be key success factor of e-retailing. So advantages you have learned already. What is the success factor? What is the benefit by using e-retailing? User friendly? Yes. Mobile optimization? Yes. Strong online presence? Yes. Customer service? Yes. Competitive pricing, the pricing always you will get at lesser price compared to offline. Wide range of product, the products ranges are more. Security and privacy will be there. Efficient supply of chain will be there. Data analytics and innovation and adaptability. If anything new, customization is required. In the offline, it is not possible. Online, as I told you, you need Shah Rukh Khan back case. So it is very simple. If you send a Shah Rukh Khan photo and if you send a, your mobile model, they will add the Shah Khan photo in your back cover and they will send it to you. Customized product that is available in online. E-commerce framework architecture. As I told you, there are two things are there. One is related to what? Generic. And the second one is architecture. It is all about the website creations. E-commerce framework must be based on the strong architectural model. Usually they make heavy use of interface and design pattern like dependency injection make components independent of used object implementation the designing part second one factories third one decoratory decorators dynamically add functionality to existing objective c for example if you go to amazon i am uh, just taking amazon example only because most of the people they have used amazon now if you just click the product it will be pop up and if you just click the description it will pop up so whatever information if you type you will get that is only called as your architectural framework and publish subscribe model or notify listening object about changes instead of polling of update so these are the information about architectural framework so you have learned what is e-retailing and you also understood the difference between e-retailing and traditional retailing what is the success factor of e-retailing and finally you have learned what is the architectural framework earlier in the previous unit you learned the generic framework those these are the most important topic just if you spend 20 to 25 minutes listen to these videos that is more than sufficient you can write on your own but points you have to write as per the notes only thank you